What's going on everybody? It's Deck Play Tone and I'm back with another video. I know I've been gone. My bad. I'm sorry, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say, man, things been going on. I'm up in Great Lakes, Illinois. It's tough sometimes. It's rough, but I'm back with another video. And I'm making this video here because sometime back, uh, a few weeks back, we were all sitting down at the smoke deck, you know, smoke deck talk. And uh, a guy, he asked me, he asked, uh, like, how do you make new friends at a duty station and at, at your new duty station? And I thought about it, I said, damn, like, uh, that's the question that nobody really ever asked, honestly. But I tried my best to answer this question based on my experience in the Navy and whatnot. And um, I wanted to share because a lot of people going through that type of stuff. So without further ado, here are some things. These are some tips for me on how to make friends at a new duty station. First and foremost, when it comes to uh, you being at a new duty station, right? It, it's, it's hard, you know, you starting your naval career, your new naval career, or uh, your new time at a duty station, it's almost like uh, playing like uh, a guitar for the first time. You know, you're trying to learn a new song or whatever. It's, it, it's mysterious, it's hard to do. However, I got a few things. You have to be yourself in everything that you bring to the table. That way you'll get the right flavor of people around you. You'll get the right type of people around you that wanna uh, get with you for you. Otherwise, if you're somebody else, you're gonna end up with a lot of people mixing around with a lot of people that you really don't wanna be with. And I, trust me, man, this has happened to me countless times. When I try to fit in and you know be with a whole bunch of people that uh, I didn't really like, I didn't uh, have anything in common with. Man, let me tell you, <laughs> it was so hard to make friends. Like, uh, I wanna say like my second duty station in Okinawa. Listen, man, I'm hanging out with all types of people that, you know, they just, they, I'm not like them. And it's clear I'm not like them. And what I was doing, I was trying to be them instead of just being me. And now to this day, how many of them are my friends right now? Like on Facebook, I mean, I got, I don't know, not that many, right? So you gotta be yourself, it's really important. That way you be that person that you like to be. First up, you have to engage with military members, you have to engage with sailors. If you're a sailor in the United States Navy, if you're a sailor in the Navy, and you're not talking to folks, man. Listen, and, and, and the things I'm telling you, it's not some mystery. It, it's not some secret. It, it's it, it's something that is very, very simple. You gotta engage with sailors. You gotta talk with sailors. That's how I got this conversation, this topic going. I mean, uh, we were all hanging out, barbecuing, beers and whatnot. And then, um, you know, I'm out there and I mean, obviously I'm cheap and whatnot. And the guys are out there like, hey, uh, chief, like uh, I got a question for you. And when I'm out there, nobody on, uh, you know, they, they don't really address me as cheap. That's another story, right? But he's like, I got that question. And um, how it happened, how I, uh, I got to talking with them. I just seen them, you know, they're here, I'm here. They're barbecue and I'm barbecue and we're drinking beers. And I just start talking. Same thing, um, another one, uh, one of my good guys um, that I met throughout this process and whatnot, throughout my hiatus, right? Cause I've been kind of busy, kind of, kind of slacking. Um, I found out that me and him like uh, kind of make the same like uh, type of stuff. Like uh, we both like video and all that stuff. And so if I didn't engage with him, then who would have known, right? So who would have known? So it's very, it's a very small chance that you're gonna get somebody that you don't agree with or that don't have your interest. But if that's the case, then okay. Well, now you know that this guy is not your flavor. You just keep on moving. It's easy easier than that. It's not some mystery. Everybody thinks it's a mystery. It's not. It's not. Anyway, you have to engage with sellers. You talk with them, you find out their likenesses, you find out your interests and whatnot, and then you go from there. You find out if they're your flavor, if they're your season and whatnot. And if they're not, then oh well, it's not that no well. You're going to find somebody that's with your flavor. And when they're with your flavor, listen, Y'all gonna cook something together and it's gonna be fun. The thing you gotta remember is that military members, they're people, I, I swear to God. Yo, I'm not even lying. Military members are people. And here's the story. My first duty station, I got stationed to uh, in uh, Washington, D.C. And my, my, my CEO, right? For lack of a better term, right? The director, 
He was an admiral. He's a like a, a, a admiral, right? And in boot camp, we told you don't talk to admirals, you don't look at admirals, and all this stuff. But now, my CEO, he's an admiral. So, I mean, from the jump, as soon as I get the first duty station, I hey, we got an admiral. I'm like, oh, I'm scared, you know. So, finally. Uh, we check in, I talk to the Admiral and stuff like that. And through the, the weeks, how they progress and whatnot, I find out he's a Cowboys fan. And I mean, he's a Cowboys fan. I, I'm like, oh my God, so I gotta get him because I'm a Giants fan. So me and him, after a while, we start going back and forth. Me and Admiral talking junk with each other, talking about our team, blah, blah, blah. You know, that year the Giants, of course, won a Super Bowl. This was like, uh, what, 20. Uh, 2010, 2015, I mean, I said 2010, 2015, 2010, 2011, right? And uh, Admiral, uh, the the Cowboys, like they was facing the Giants or whatever, like uh, during the season, NFC East stuff, and they destroyed them, they just killed them. I think uh, sometimes Cowboys are getting some of these, but every time we were talking so much junk, I found out he liked the same music that some of us like. Right, he liked playing practical jokes and stuff like that. This dude was a person. We talking about an admiral, right? Same thing with uh, like uh, I met Mick Pond. I used to go to the old Mick Pond's office and stuff. And I'm telling you, you go to his office and you go to like uh, this guy's office and that person's office. You talking about three star admirals, two star admirals, master chiefs, whatever. And it was all cool. That's because military are people, military members of people, especially the higher up they go. I mean, when I talk to a lot of people now, sometimes they, they don't even know I'm a chief until like I say like, hey, this is this is, this is not going on, Another right? Thing. So you have to be friendly, not antisocial. You gotta be friendly, right? Those that read like uh, Bible scriptures or whatever, they say something in there, I think. Like uh, those that wanna be friends, they gotta show themselves friendly. So, when you see somebody or whatever, like, I mean, this is just basic stuff too. Like, it, it starts with good morning, hey, what's up, greeting or whatever the case may be. You know, you see somebody walking, moseying down a smoke deck or whatever, that's my thing, you know, uh, going on a smoke deck and whatnot. And just seeing people, hey, what's up, you want a beer or, or whatever the case, I mean, people drink or whatever, right? But doing that, like, um, they're like, all right, this, this, this guy, this girl, they cool. I mean, damn. Like, I, I'm coming around and they're just accepting me or just talking to me. That goes a long way. And don't ever listen to people that say, like, uh, it's good to be antisocial and stuff like that. You know, and think about this, right? You got a friend and they're antisocial. How's that possible? That's like an oxymoron, maybe. Because how are you going to have friends and you don't like people? It don't make sense. The thing is, they want friends, but they don't know how to get friends. They don't know how to be friendly. You don't want that. Yeah, I'm telling you, you don't want that, right? It's not a mystery, here, right? If you want friends, you gotta show yourself to be friendly, right? You see a guy, hey, hey, come on over here, come get some food, or uh, um, hey, come over here, we're playing cornhole, or whatever the case may be. And I hate calling home, by the way. I be getting my ass destroyed and call home every time. I'll talk about that later. You gotta be patient and you gotta be consistent. When you are trying to filter out like uh, who your friends is, now you're at this step where you talking to people. You see people, hey, what's going on? My name is Tony. Hey, what's up? My name is Jack Daniels or whatever your name is, right? Some people, they gonna like what you do. They gonna like your interest. They gonna like the fact that like, uh, I guess, I don't know, you you play you skateboard or you play the guitar or you sing, you dance, whatever. And then some people, they just gonna be like, oh, that's not my thing. And it is what it is. Every time you meet somebody or talk to them, you're not gonna always find out or you're not always gonna find people that, you, that, that like you or that wanna be around you. It is what it is. I know some people, they don't wanna be around me all the time, but that's cool because I don't want them to be around me if they don't do the things I do. It is what it is. And once you understand that, it's a lot easier to be consistent. You say like, all right, I'm trying to make friends. I'm on my mission to make friends or whatever, right? So mission start. I see 30 people here. I'm gonna talk to all 30 of them or whatever. I'm gonna tell them 
My name is Michael. I like dancing. I like spinning around. I don't know, whatever it is, right? And then after a while, somebody's like, well, damn, like, I don't like Michael because you spin around. I don't like spinning around dancing or whatever. But then somebody's going to say, well, damn, Michael, I actually like dancing and spinning around too. I like jump jacks, exercise, and I like going to the gym or whatever too. And then you're going to start growing that. When I first got here, I didn't hang out with too many people and it kind of sucked. I hated it, to be honest. You know, weather's garbage, nothing to do, a whole bunch of bugs, raccoons, dares, foxes, skunks all over the place. And then the weather is inconsistent. Then it's super, super, super bored. I'm like, oh, damn, like what, like, what is this, man? But the mall started uh, going out to the meeting area and everybody got a meeting area. You just gotta find out what the meeting area is. Once I started doing that and seeing more folks and talking to more folks, out of nowhere, boom, my guy Dustin, he says like, hey man, um, he introduced me to another guy named Dustin. You know, it's my guy. He probably, uh, he probably gonna be, uh, you probably might see him in my videos in the future. He says like, hey man, like, um, uh, my guy Tony, he he also makes videos. He likes a uh, YouTube video, blah blah blah, right? And this guy Dustin, I know it's it's two Dustins if you're tracking, right? So he's like, uh, oh yeah, well I like film, blah 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 blah, and he has like a fat ass camera and all this stuff. And he's like, uh, y'all should get together. So I come outside one day, you know, we're having beers, and he's like, hey Tony, like didn't you say that you do all this, 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 and that? And I said, yeah, of course, yeah, I make videos, blah, 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 blah. And then we got to talking. And at that time, let me tell you, right? I was, I didn't even feel like making videos. I'm burnt out from work and doing all this other stuff. And we start, you know, getting the cooking and whatnot. We get the juices flowing and all that good stuff. We got the saison, we got all the seasoning. Everything in the pot start forming, right? All of our, our ideas and all this stuff. And then it was like, yo, bro, we need to make videos. He's like, dude, you need to start making videos again. And so here I am now making another one. This is gonna be my first one, right? So love it or hate it. Another thing that I didn't learn until way, way like too long. I mean, it, way too long it took me to learn this. You gotta take the hint. Take the hint whether it's good or it's bad. All right, take the hint whether it's good or it's bad. You got to, you got to. So. If you're hanging out with people and they keep on inviting you, that means that they actually want to be your friends. But if you're like, ah, oh, nah, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. You keep flaking on them. After a while, like they're gonna be like, all right, well, this guy probably don't want to hang out with us. But take the hint. Like you gotta take those hints. So they keep on um, uh, inviting you out to stuff. That means they want to be your friends. They see something in you, like you're interested in something that you got going on. It goes the same way for the bad people, right? So hold up, hold up. Now the bad guys, the people that's not your flavor, it's not necessarily they're bad. They just don't mesh. Y'all yeah, just don't mesh together. It is what it is. So if they're not inviting you to stuff, they're making plans and you're not in the plans, guess what? You might as well just keep it moving. And don't take it to heart. Don't take it to heart. I mean, some people, they just don't like to like uh, do karaoke, right? Or some people don't like to drink or whatever it is, right? Some people just don't like, it. and that's okay, that's okay. A lot of people, they 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 get too hung up on, oh damn, this person don't wanna hang out with me and blah, 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 blah. But it is what it is, man. Like some people are going to like you and some people are going to hate you. And some people there, I mean, it is what it is. You know, some people might think you trash for what you do. Other people think you're outstanding. Take the hints, whether it's good or bad. I'm telling you right now, it'll save you from a world, trust me, it will save you from a world of trouble, of a heartache and pain or whatever you want to say. Depression, just take the hints, be honest. I'm telling you, be honest. And, and this right here that I'm telling you, this is the cream of the crop. This is the cream of the crop. Be honest, if you don't like something, if you don't want to do something, let people know, hey, I don't like this. I don't want to do this. Because if not, people are going to try to push their agendas on you or they, you're going to end up doing stuff that you don't want to do.
You're going to end up being around people that you don't want to be around. And then you're going to feel out of place when you guys are going out and doing things. Imagine you having a, a like a car full of dancers, right? And you don't dance. Y'all going to the club. And everybody going and getting it and doing whatever they do. And you just standing around. Everybody like, damn, like pretty lame. Like, why are you not dancing or anything like that? And you're like, uh... Yeah, I don't feel like it. Instead of just telling them, yo, this is not my thing. I can't dance or like, I just don't like going to clubs. Whatever it is, all right? It's gonna save you from being around the wrong people that don't match what you wanna do, all right? Maybe you like, um, what's the name of that joint? Uh, Magic the Gathering or doing raids or something like that. Maybe that's your flavor. That's cool. That's when I would say, hey, you know what? Whenever I want to get together and do a raid, I'm down with that. Some people are going to be like, oh, no, I'm not doing this. And then you just you just move on. Simple as that. But you got to you gotta be honest. You got to be honest with yourself. You got to be honest with people. And there's nothing wrong with that. You're not going to lose points. Nobody's going to kill you because like, you, you, you don't want to do what they do. It is what it is. And if they got something to say about you or they feel some kind of way about you, they're not your friends anyway. Another thing is ask questions. Ask questions, my brother. Ask questions. Ask questions, my sister. You got to ask questions. Ask questions. When I say ask questions, like ask people like, hey, man, you got any good plans for the week? What it is you like doing? Where you from? Those things are important because people, they love to talk about themselves. They like to share where they're from what they like doing, what's their favorite food, all these things, right? Once you engage in those conversations, you'll find that people are more than happy to share their stuff. More than happy to share their stuff. But if you don't say, all right, let me let me ask these questions. One, you're never gonna know, and you're never gonna share. And then you're gonna be back to square one, or you're gonna be the level one, whatever and you never are going to like build acquaintances. Trust me, that's the way, even if you with somebody and you, you think you're uncomfortable or whatever, like, or you just don't know them like that, like just ask no more about them. And if they are building that onion and whatnot, and it's not what you want, it's like, okay, well, maybe it's interesting to somebody else, but whatever, like, uh, more power to them and then just keep on moving you don't got to be rude about it but just just be honest like i said those are basically like all that um those are all of the tips that i really have with this advice that i gave this guy a lot of these things are practical things that a lot of people don't really think about especially sailors in the navy they just think um i mean sometimes they they really don't think anything sometimes they're just lost but you have to break out of your comfort zone uh, socially. And I promise you, you will make friends, you'll survive at your duty station. And then you'll find out that, although sometimes like your first career or uh, your first move in the Navy or your first station in the Navy or your first couple of years in the Navy even, is like uh, picking up a guitar or, or whatever for the first time, or learning a song for the first time. But even though it's, it, it gets rocky like that. The more you practice these things, you'll find out that just like the more you practice on the guitar or instrument or whatever, it gets easier. And then things start to sound better. And then you start to experience more. And then you start to love like uh, more things, man. You start to um, like uh, start unlocking a lot of things that you never, ever, ever thought that you would unlock. And then another thing, man, for me, I will say that this kind of jump-started my motivation. I made another video about uh, jump-starting your motivation, but this is something totally different because this is something I didn't really experience. Um, and while I didn't talk about it in my last video, you know, the power of like learning and getting to know new people, especially when it's your first duty station. So you guys can check that video out um, if you want when it comes to jump-starting your motivation. Let me know what you think about um, like uh, starting at a first duty station or a new duty station. 
Let me know what your experience is um, if you want to share. If you want to share, I like to hear. And um, you got questions, man. I'm, I'm more than um, welcome to answer them and whatnot. I mean, I don't mind answering them. I love talking about this stuff here because I want to help a lot of guys uh, navigate throughout the Navy and stuff like that. I mean, I got a lot of experience and I'm not going to be here for a long time, but since I'm here, I might as well share the gems. Might as well share the gems. I'm just saying. And that's all I have regarding this. Uh, check me out on my next video. I'm uh, planning on doing a little bit of rebranding. So right now the page is like Growth Talks from a Veteran, but I'm planning on switching it to Deck Plate Tone and stuff like that. So more to follow on that. Um, as I continue, I'm going to uh, do another podcast video at some point. May have a guest, who knows? But if you haven't subscribed, you might want to subscribe and check me out. Also, feel free to share with a friend. Tell a friend, tell a friend, you know what I mean? And um, that's all I have. Thank you so much for listening. Shout out to you guys. Salute to everybody out there. Remember everybody deployed. Of course, remember everybody deployed. Reach out to your friends and your family that's overseas right now. All right? Salute to everybody. No further entries this page. Tony Tone is out. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate your time, man. Thank you. I hope something I said helped you out. And I'll see you on the deck plates, man. Thank you.